Not all exercise is suitable for everyone. To reduce the risk of injury, consult your doctor before participating in this or any other exercise program. If you feel any pain, discomfort, or dizziness, do not continue. The creators, producers, participants, and distributors of this program disclaim any liability or loss in connection with the exercise and instruction herein. Welcome to Power Yoga Mind and Body. My name is Adrienne Reed. Our theme for today, hips. We have a nice challenging class today, so when you're ready, let's stand on up to the front of your mats. We're gonna warm up with a half lotus today. So when you're ready, you're gonna shift your weight to your left leg. We're gonna grab your right foot, bring your heel in towards your belly button, and roll the top of your right foot into your left hip crease. If that's too much for you, I wanted you to drop into Janu, so just drop your foot on the inside of your left leg or down by your left calf. You got it, you can hold that with your left hand if you'd like to, exactly, Kristen. And then exhale, go ahead and release that, drop that leg out, kick that out a little bit. And let's do that same warm up on the other side. When you're ready, same thing, shift your weight to your right leg, you're gonna grab your left foot, pull it in towards your belly button, roll the top of your left foot into your right hip crease. And same thing, you can hold that with your right foot or you can just drop your hands to your waist. Couple good breaths there. So starting to open through your hips. Nice job, or you can drop down to Janu or drop down almost into a tree position. Nice calm breath, quiet mind. From there, when you're ready, go ahead and release that. So that's kind of a mild warm up for what's coming in store. So we're gonna do a sun salutation A, sun salute A, and we're gonna bring your foot into half lotus throughout that sun salute. Everybody ready? <laughs> so when you're ready, let go ahead and bring your right foot up into a half lotus position. Find your balance. Again, try and find somewhere that you can maintain your balance. Inhale, sweep up, get nice and tall, heel to fingertip. Exhale, fall forward, hinge at the waist, forward fold, nose to knee if you can. Inhale, look up and lengthen your spine. Exhale, walk or jump back to a plank position. Lower down slowly, take your time, elbows by your rib cage, beautiful. Inhale, roll forward, up dog. Your knee can drop to the mat there, that's okay. Exhale, push up if you can. Float on back, down dog. We're gonna go five good breaths there, beautiful. And I'm gonna release out and walk around, help you guys out a little bit. So you're trying to open through that right knee so you're getting a little more work through your hips. Relax that left heel down into the mat. I'm gonna pop back in that and I'm gonna join you guys again. Here we go. From down dog, this is where it gets hard. Inhale, look between your hands. Exhale, see if you can jump your foot right up in between. Beautiful. That's the way, Diane. <laughs> Inhale, look up and lengthen your spine. Exhale, fall forward with arms like wings. Come on up and release. Shake that out a little bit. Nice job. Phew. <laughs> Let's do that same thing. Yay, on the other side. So when you're ready, same thing with your left foot. Drop your left foot into half lotus, into Janu, into a position that you can maintain throughout that sun salute. Beautiful. Inhale, sweep up, get nice and tall, heel to fingertips. Exhale, fall forward. That's hard on balance, nose to knee if you can. Inhale, look up and lengthen through your spine. Gets a little tough here. Exhale, walk or jump back to a plank position. Lower down slowly, take your time, elbows by your rib cage, beautiful. When you get there, inhale, roll forward into up dog. That knee can drop to the mat if you need to. And then exhale, push up if you'd like to. Float on back, down dog. We got five beautiful breaths here in down dog again. You guys are doing great, fabulous. So warming up the rest of your body, but keeping that extra focus on your hips by having that foot in half lotus. Open through that left knee. Beautiful, inhale, look up between your hands. Exhale, walk or jump your feet up, or foot up. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, fall forward with arms like wings, come on up. 
You can take a nice arch back at the end if you want. That's hard. Exhale, release, kick your foot out, shake that out a little bit. See that? We're not messing around today. Beautiful. From there, let's float right into a nice warrior two. So we're going to take a big step back with your left foot. Go ahead and sink down into your lunge. I want you to square your hips toward the long edge of your mat. And your hands can either remain on your waist so you can keep your focus on your hip position and sinking your hips deeply into your lunge. Or if you feel like it, you can sweep your arms upwards, shoulder blades back and down, which brings a little attention to your shoulders as well. Let's go five more breaths there. So really sinking deeply into your lunge. To help keep focus on your hip, I want you to think about your front knee. So sweep the inside edge of your front knee forward. And when you do that, it helps to externally rotate your thighs and opens you a little bit more through the hips. Breath is long and strong. Remain nice and calm in that pose. Wonderful. Exhale, I want you to sweep your hands to your waist. We're gonna point your toes toward the long edge of your mat, so kind of move your foot. Bend your knees, and we're gonna sink right down into a squat position. If you can, drop your hands down to the mat. And if you're feeling real good, see if you can get your forearms down to the mat. And if you're still feeling really good, drop your head down to the mat as well. So your hips are sinking down deeply. We're gonna go 10 good breaths here again. The lower you sink your hips, the more work you're getting through your hip flexors, the more work you're getting across the back of your hips. Looking good, everybody. So relaxing through, long, full inhales, long, full exhales, allowing your hips to just sink downward into the mat. Looking good. From there, go ahead and straighten up your legs. You're gonna draw your torso up, sweep your hands to your waist with the flat back, come on up. Let's point your left toes off to the left-hand side and sink into a warrior two on the other side. So you're bending your left knee, making sure your knee is over your ankle. Don't let your knee go past your ankle. Make sure your knee is right on top of that ankle. Roll the back edge of your back foot downward. And again, let your focus fall on opening through that front knee. So you're externally rotating your thighs and opening a little bit more through the hips. If you feel like it, you can sweep your arms up, shoulder blades back and down. Let's go five more breaths there. So really sinking into Virabhadrasana Warrior Two, Allowing your focus to fall on our theme today, hips. So sinking those hips downward, squaring your hips toward the long edge of your mat. Beautiful. Nice job, exhale, drop your hands to your waist, straighten up your front leg, and let's go ahead and lay down flat on your back. Go ahead and have your head toward the front edge of your mat for me, guys. Once you get there, go ahead and lay down just for a breath or two. Regroup, recoup, re-energize. And we're gonna start doing a little bit of a hip series, but I want you to start just by cradling your legs. So let's grab your right leg, and you're trying to crush your forearms over the front of your shin, and you're just gonna rock your legs side to side gently. And your body may roll a little bit with you, that's perfectly normal. Slow, relaxed, calm breaths. So you wanna come this way with your leg, Julie, and cradle underneath here, so like this, yes. That's the way. Same thing, Kristen. My whole back row is doing their own thing here. <laughs> Beautiful. Go ahead and release that. Let's swap it up and do that same thing on the left leg. So we'll warm up both sides, and then we'll move to that hip series. So cross your shin in front of your body. See if you can hook your arms on the front of your shin so you're kind of rotating through that leg a little bit and rocking side to side gently, slowly with your breath. You may notice your body rocks a little bit with you. That's perfectly normal. No worries. One more breath, nice and calm there. And then go ahead and release that and straighten that leg. So let's move through a hip series with your right leg. When you're ready, go ahead and bend your right knee again and pull it in toward your chest. And this time I want you to pick your right ankle up over your knee. So you're kind of kicking your heel up toward the ceiling. You're gonna bend that right knee and pull that knee in toward your right armpit area. So you wanna tuck your right arm a little bit out of the way. You can either grab the back of your thigh the sides of your calf or the sides of your feet and pull that foot downward. That's exactly it. 
Try and engage your left leg here. So draw the back of your left thigh, the back of your left knee down toward the mat, which intensifies that stretch a little more in toward your hips. Let's go two more deep breaths there. So you're looking to find sensation here. Don't go too deeply into this so you're in the pain zone. Stop right before that so you're just relaxing and finding where you're feeling a good stretch. After your second breath, you're going to release that foot slightly up toward the ceiling. And then I want you to try and bring your right big toe toward your left ear. So it's staying up high and just coming across. In this pose, you may actually feel your femoral head moving in your hip socket. No worries, that's completely normal. So things are kind of moving around a little bit there as you're rotating your leg. That's completely normal. Just relax through. Keep that left leg engaged. Let's go three more good breaths there. Nice and calm, everybody. Smile in this pose. This is a good one. <laughs> Beautiful. After your third breath, release that. And you're going to bring your foot way down low. So you're going to flare your right knee way out to the right-hand side. I'd like the inside of your foot right above your belly button. So you have to rotate your foot so the inside of your foot is on top of your belly button. Use your arms to pull your foot in toward your body. If that feels good for you, Start bringing your toes up towards your nose. So if you have a little more room to move, draw your foot upward. So you're using your arms to bring your foot down toward your body and up toward your face if you can. Beautiful, let's go three more breaths there. Diane, I'm gonna come and rotate your foot. So instead of let go for a sec, see how your foot is upward? I want you to rotate it that way. So feel the difference through your hip. So I really want the inside of your foot toward your belly button, that's it. Beautiful. Exhale, go ahead and release that slowly. That's nice and intense. Drive your heel up toward the ceiling on an inhale. On an exhale, slowly lower that leg down. Really take your time with that. When you're done, your right leg should feel longer than your left. Whew, I love that feeling. When you're ready, let's go same thing on the other side. So left knee bends. And you're gonna bring your left ankle above your left knee. So bring that foot up high. You're going to move your left arm a little out of the way. Your left knee is going to come in towards your left armpit. You can either grab the sides of your foot, hook the back of your thigh, or grab the sides of your calf, whichever feels best for you. Engage your right leg. So back your right thigh, back your right knee floats downward. That's it, Julie. Relax here. I'm going to hold that for you. Doesn't that make it much nicer? Someone holds that leg for you. Long, full inhales and exhales. So you're really sinking into that stretch. Beautiful. All right, let's exhale, release that slightly. You're gonna keep your foot up high. I just want you to rotate off to the side so your left big toe comes toward your right ear. So you want that foot up as high as it'll go and sweeping almost across your face. So once again, you should be able to feel that femoral head moving within that hip socket. So you feel a little bit of rotation through that leg. Completely normal, no worries. You should feel good sensation here, no pain. So stop at an area where you feel like you're getting a good stretch and breathe into that stretch. One more breath there, beautiful. And then exhale, go ahead and release that. We're gonna flare your knee way out toward the left-hand side. This is the one where you're trying to bring the inside of your foot parallel to your body, so right over your belly button. So don't leave your toes pointed upward. Rotate your foot so it's right over your body. You're using your hands to bring your foot down toward your body. And then if you feel good, you can draw your toes up toward your face. So again, your arms are pulling your foot down toward your body and up toward your face. Beautiful, keep that right leg engaged so you're relaxing into that stretch with your left leg and sinking downward with your right leg. Curtis, I'm gonna hold that for you, you can relax in. One more deep breath there, that's beautiful. Looking good, everybody. And then exhale, go ahead and release that. I want you to inhale, drive that heel up toward the ceiling. Exhale, slowly lower that heel all the way down. I hate to say it, but when you're done, your left leg will feel longer than your right. Doesn't it seem like they should be even at that point? <laughs> and shake that out a little bit. We're gonna do a little bit of work with bridge. I highly suggest if you have a block that you go ahead and use a block for this series. 
if you don't want to use a block, it's going to be a little bit challenging, so you do what feels good for you. You may want to put the block underneath you and just hover above a little bit, and that way if you need to lower down to it, you're able to do that. So when you're ready, we're going to bend your knees. You guys all have your blocks next to you. And we're going to float up into a bridge position. So your feet are about hips width apart. Your heels are in by your sit bones. When you're ready, navel floats upward. And let's just go five good breaths in center here to warm up. You have a couple of choices for hand position. You can either have your palms down flat by your side. You can interlace your hands behind your back and use the strength of your arms to push your navel upward. You can reach down and grab your ankles. If you're using a block, you have a number of choices for your block as well. You can lay your block flat this way. You can rotate your block upward this way for a little more stretch, or you can go all the way to the top for a nice deep bridge. From there, let's introduce hips into the stretch. So I want you to kick your right heel up toward the ceiling. And then I want you to bend your right knee. You can put your right heel on your left knee or put your right heel in toward your left hip, depending on where you want to go. And then I want you to open your right knee out to the side. So if you have a block underneath you, feel free to let your body rest on top of that block. If you don't have a block underneath you, find an arm position that feels good for you. Or if you have a block and you want to challenge yourself, see if you can hover just a little bit above. We're going to go two more breaths there. You guys are looking good. Fabulous. So that knee opens, that hip opens, you're relaxing in. Exhale, kick that foot up toward the ceiling and drop it down next to your left leg. Shake that out a little bit. And if you want, if you're not using a block, feel free to grab it. And let's do that same thing on the other side. So when you're ready, left heel kicks up toward the ceiling. Let's go a couple good breaths there. And then again, when you're ready, bend your left knee. Left heel goes toward your right knee or toward your right hip, depending on what you're trying to do there. If you bring it toward your hip, it's more of a half lotus. Open through that left knee. So you're opening through your hips, relaxing through, beautiful. That looks great, everybody. If you're using a block, allow your body to rest right on it, or you can hover a little bit above it for a challenge. If you're not using a block, man, you're doing wonderful. This has been a nice long hold, and these are challenging poses to hold through. One more good breath there, looking good. So working hips, working shoulders, working abs, working quads. When you're ready, inhale, kick that heel up toward the ceiling. Exhale, lower that foot down to the floor. If you have a block underneath, go ahead and pull it out from underneath you. We're gonna inhale, bring your navel up one more centimeter, and exhale, slowly lower down, vertebrae by vertebrae. So hands should be down by your sides, palms nice and flat. So really take your time getting down there. See if you can hit the vertebrae and the curve in your lower back. Let your tailbone be the very, very last thing to hit. This is really about the journey and taking a long time getting there. Wonderful. So that should make your spine nice and long and massage the long muscles on either side of your spine. When, you're, when your tailbone hits, straighten up through your legs and just lay down flat on your back for a breath or two. If you want to continue with hips, you can drop your feet, bottoms of your feet together and float into Supta Baddha Konasana, laying down butterfly. If not, just lay legs straight. So let's hang out here for a breath or two, regroup from that back bend, and just relax into a butterfly laying down. If you want, you can drop your hands to the insides of your thighs or to the insides of your knees, and let the, the weight of your arms allow you to fall a little further into that pose. One more breath there, looking good, everybody. And from there, I want you to sweep your hands underneath your knees, Use the strength of your arms to bring your legs back together again. Straighten up your legs, shake that out a little bit. Nice job. From there, let's do a little bit with happy baby again to release through those hips. You're gonna bend your knees, pull them in towards your chest. You're gonna bring your arms on the inside of your legs, bring your ankles above your knees and hook your feet and you're just gonna rock side to side gently. So I always say, not a very glamorous pose, but it's wonderful for releasing through the hips and giving you a little bit of relief for the work that you just did. And let's go a couple more breaths there, just relaxing through. From there, when you're ready, go ahead and bring your legs together, drive your heels up toward the ceiling. I gotta throw some ab work in. Slowly lower your heels all the way down. Wonderful. Hands are either down by your sides or tucked behind your lower back, whatever's better for you. And once you get down there, draw your arms up overhead. We're gonna use the strength of your arms and abs. Come on up to sitting. 
You guys here in the studio, spin around for me. We're going to do a little bit of work with a wide angle stretch. So when you're ready, go ahead and open up your legs into a nice wide angle. And you guys may need to stagger a little bit in that back row. Very nice. So from this wide angle, we're going to inhale, bring your hands up at shoulders height. So go ahead and do that with me. Exhale, you're going to draw your wrists together and lean as far back as you can go. Inhale, open up forward, interlace your arms and draw your arms up overhead. There you go. Exhale, go ahead and fall forward there. And this is a very slow movement. So once again, inhale, come on up, open arm shoulders width. Exhale, lean way back into it, as far back as you can go, wrists come together. Inhale, interlace your fingers, draw your arms up overhead. Exhale, slowly lower down. Get that hip and groin stretch. Beautiful. Inhale, open up, arm shoulders. Exhale, draw back, wrists come together, beautiful. Inhale, interlace your arms overhead. Exhale, fall forward, get a deep stretch. Beautiful. Inhale, draw your torso up, arms open up, shoulders width. Exhale, lean back, wrists come together. Inhale, interlace your arms, draw up overhead. Exhale, go ahead and fall forward. Let's do one more of those guys, looking good. Inhale, torso comes up, open. Exhale, lean as far back as you can go. Notice that through your groin and hips. Inhale, interlace your arms, come on up. Beautiful, exhale, go ahead and fall forward. Hang there for a couple of breaths and relax through that. Make sure your toes continue to point upward, so don't let your feet roll in when you're in this wide angle stretch. And from there, come on up. From that, I want you to sweep your hands underneath your knees. Use the strength of your arms to bring your legs back together again and shake that out a little bit. We're gonna do that same arm movement with one more foot position. So when you're ready, we're gonna sweep into a butterfly, Baddha Konasana, and I want it to be a loose butterfly. So your feet should be right in towards your body. Come be a little bit forward. Same exact arm movement, guys. So inhale, arms open, shoulders. Exhale, lean as far back as you can. Wrists come together. Inhale, interlace your arms, extend up really tall. Exhale, this is where you'll notice it hips. Fall forward, beautiful. Inhale, come on up, open up nice and wide. Exhale, lean as far back as you can. You should notice hips there also. Inhale, interlace your arms, come on up overhead. Exhale, fall deeply forward. Inhale, draw your torso up, open nice and wide, beautiful. Exhale, lean far back, work through the groin and hips. Inhale, interlace your arms, extend nice and tall, beautiful. Exhale, fall forward, push out that air, sink into that fold. Three more, inhale, come on up, arms open, shoulders width. Exhale, lean it back, wrists come together. Inhale, interlace, get nice and tall. Exhale, extend far forward, push all your air out, get a deep fold, beautiful. Inhale, come on up, arms, shoulders. Exhale, leaning back, wrists together, fall back into that. Inhale, interlace your arms, extend your hands upward. Exhale, fall into that fold. We're doing one more beautiful. Inhale, extend up, arms, shoulders height. Exhale, leaning back into that stretch. Looking good, everybody. Inhale, interlace your hands, draw your arms up overhead, get nice and tall. Exhale, sink into that. I want you to stay in that stretch. Go five deep breaths there. Long inhales and exhales, relaxing through. Nice job. After your fifth breath, draw your torso up. Go ahead and lay down flat on your back. You can bend your knees, pull them in towards your chest and rock side to side gently. And believe it or not, guys, that's it for today. We're gonna be ready for Shavasana. So when you're ready, straighten up through your legs and just lay down in a nice comfortable position for me. The final pose of class is the most important in yoga, called Shavasana. This pose is what you've worked the entire class to achieve, an exploration of stillness in action. As you lay on your mat, allow your entire body to come to rest. Let your feet flop open. Bring your hands by your sides, palms upward. 
close your eyes. Let your mind and body relax completely. The purpose of this time is to just be. Be still in your heart, still in your body, still in yourself. Try to remain in this pose for five to 10 minutes, finding health and harmony within. Thanks for your time and hard work today. Namaste. to continue to improve your strength, stamina, flexibility, and balance, order Power Yoga for Athletes. This hour-long video is for yogis who embrace a more active lifestyle. Call 1-866-629-1591 or visit adrianreed.com. For tips and secrets on Power Yoga, visit WUSF.org and click on the Power Yoga icon. You'll find frequently asked questions and show information from Adrian Reed.